Hi guys, Mulch here and welcome back to another video where today I'm going to show you how this game with only 800 visits has made me thousands of Robux. Let's get straight into it. Okay, so on your screen right here you can see this little game here, Dragon Ball Avatar slash Outfits by me, Mulch Mike. Go give me a follow on Roblox by the way. And as you can see, I mean this game has 8 likes, also got 2 dislikes, you know, thank you. It's got 0 active, 7 favourites, one of those being me. Um, and it's only got 800 visits. And this game has made me thousands of Robux. We'll get into the exact amount later. Um, but what, something else that might shock you is so if we go down here, private servers are free. So we didn't make money off of private servers. So you'd think, oh, we well, must have a really expensive game pass or something. You see, actually, this game doesn't have any game passes. So let me load into this game right here and show you how it made thousands of Robux and how you can do the same. And here is the game right here. As you can see, it is very quickly made. She says multiple Z at the top. I mean, um, so this is a game right here that I made because on this channel right here, this mulch channel, um, I made some videos on how to make these Dragon Ball avatars and some of them did quite well. Uh, so I thought, let's make a game where I can put all the avatars in. What you do in this game is, oh, well, I call it a game, it's more of an experience or whatever. You just go up to this Goku, for example, you click on him, and you say, I want the hair. I already have all of these items, of course. And it'd pop up telling you to buy the hair. And now, of course, I didn't make any of these items. I made the outfits, and I showed you how to put them together and built these examples. But I haven't actually made any of these items here. So, for example, if we go on to this Goku hair right here, as you can see... This was actually made by this uh, UGC creator. I don't have permission to make UGCs. So how am I making money off of this? Well, the reason I've made money off of this is because Roblox has a thing called commission. So this experience is meant to be a Kami's lookout that I made very quickly, as you can see. I mean, you know, don't look too close over there. Um, but the only reason I made this experience is to display these avatars. Because every time somebody buys, for example, this uh, Goku Fire, every time somebody purchases this, I get 30% because of Roblox commissions. So Roblox gets the other 70% and obviously the creator of the UGC actually gets stuff. So whenever somebody wants to get this Broly Lightning or whatever, I get 30% from that Lightning. So that means that I'm actually making money every time somebody buys one of these things. Now, of course, it's not a lot because if you think maybe this hair is like... I don't know, say 50 Robux, I'm only getting 30% of that. But people have actually been buying lots of these items because they get them. These aren't just in-game items. So let me show you how much I made and then I'll be telling you how you can do this for yourself. So here I am on my Roblox balances. And as you can see here, there's a section here called commissions. Uh, this is the past 30 days, but all of my commissions have come from that game. Uh, and if we refresh this to the past year, as we can see, that game has made me nearly 7,000 Robux and it's only got about 800 visits. So that means every player is spending nearly 1,000 Robux um, on this game. So if we go here, we can actually change this to commissions right here and we'll do it to like 100 per page. And this will show me all of my recent commissions. As you can see, these are all of the different uh, Dragon Ball items here, all from different people. But you see, like, uh, individual people tend to buy multiple things because they want to get the outfit. And then this is how much Robux I'm getting for each of them. So, for example, I got 20 Robux for the pink anime boy hair. Yes, this is actually 50 Robux. Um, but I got 20 Robux just by that person buying it. This didn't take it away from the creator. The creator, Inquisitor, doesn't get any less. But it just means that I also get a commission every time somebody buys it through my game. As you can see, I've sold hundreds of these. So how can you add something like this into your game? Well, the way commissions work is it's not just if somebody buys it in your game. But also if somebody leaves your game, there's a slight time period. Whereas if they buy an item or like pretty much immediately after leaving your game, you also get commission on that. But the best way to get commission is through having the item available for sale in your game. If you're not good at making games, but you're good at making clothes and outfits and you want a good way to show them off. I mean, all of these catalogs and like try-ons right here, some of these have got millions of players. And if you imagine my try-on only had 800 visits. Yeah, it's made me nearly 7,000 Robux. So imagine how much yours could make if you're actually, you know, maybe a little bit better at building and uh, advertising your thing than me. So yeah, as you can see, this has got 2.1 million visits. So imagine if my game that has only got 800 visits made me 7,000. Imagine how much Robux Brezzy Studios over here has made. 
So here I am in the Roblox studio for this game. So if you haven't made a Roblox experience before, you do need Roblox Studio. It's completely free. Just go onto Roblox website and you'll be able to find it. That is the only downside, of course, to this. Um, if you do want to make a game like this, you will have to have like a laptop or a computer. Um, but I just want to show you how I do this. So these are all just avatars just made using a plugin. Uh, so I made these avatars. These are all the ones from my videos, so you can check them out uh, if you just go down to my channel. But all I have here is in each avatar, um, I've just got um, this little script right here in, for example, what have we got it here? We've got a click detector in Broly, and that's just going to fire uh, to this script here just to prompt the purchase. So for example, this will then trigger the prompt for the Broly fire. Uh, so it's literally just product ID so if you were to type that into Roblox that will take you to the Broly fire and it just pops up Roblox does this all for you so it's three very simple scripts just copied over these two for each of the avatars really just copy and paste and it's very easy to do and of course I mean I've just added donation board here because it's always worth having them in your game um, and we're gonna ignore how, how bad my my building skills are I mean you know it's none of this was made in blender of course if you've never use Roblox Studio. These are all just uni, uh, union parts and these trees are free model. But you don't even need to have a map around it. You could literally just use a base plate. You know, maybe decorate it a little bit, make it look a little bit nicer. That's what I tried here. Yeah, that is all you have to do. Put this into your game, make a game about this with try-ons. Whether you're a clothing designer already, it's worth making your own shops. Or maybe you just like making outfits, like these character outfits. Literally just pick some characters that you like, make some outfits, even maybe you've got some of your own outfits already and then just get yourself one of the, the avatar loader plugins like this one here. This is very simple and very easy to make and everyone watching this video, as long as you've got access to a computer, you can do this and you could get thousands of Robux. But I hope this information helped you and maybe inspired you to make your own avatar game and hopefully your ones can get a lot more visits than mine and you guys can be making a lot of Robux. But yeah guys, thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.